Yeah. All right, dummy, come here. I'm gonna do this. So these terrible slippers, take them off. Let's look at these funny slippers. Remove all sensory feedback or substantial sensory feedback from the foot. And especially with children who are developing, you want to have the foot uh, interact with the floor and feel the different ground reaction forces. Amadea, stand here please with you, and stand up on your tippy toes. Nice and high. Okay, stand. Stand. Good boy. So as he goes up on his tippy toes, he actually engages, plays his toes here and increases his arch profile. Turn this way and stand on your tippy toes. Stand on your tippy toes. See how the heel turns inwards? You're actually developing and increasing the arch strength by having kids walk on their tippy toes. It shouldn't be encouraged constantly, but as an exercise or as a game, they can go up on their tippy toes, yes. And it's very good for uh, intrinsic foot muscular development. Something called the windlass mechanism is when the foot absorbs, first makes contact with the ground, and then shock absorbs its pronate. And then as it starts to toe off, the arch profile increases. So you go from a flat foot to a foot with a high arch, and that is heavily responsible on the musculature development and the way the bones move. And so from a child's perspective, most children at the age four and five have flat feet. Amadeus, come here. So they can see your feet. So show you nice feet. All right. Now, you can see that he has a flat foot over here. This is fairly normal. Go up on your tippy toes. There's his arch profile and it's developing. So when we're looking at footwear, we want shoes typically for children that are flexible, but not overly flexible. I love this Under Armour. It's a fantastic style. Dual Velcro makes it easy for the kids to get in the shoe. Um, and when we check the fit of the shoe, we take the insole out, put it on the floor. Amadeus, put your foot, left foot on this insole. We make sure the heel's right at the back. And you can see how his toes can all splay out. They're nice and wide. It's not constricting the toes. And there's still space at the front of the shoe. And it's important to see that where the foot flexes, right here, across the metatarsal heads, is the same spot the shoe flexes. That's how you know you've got the right length. Not to the end of the shoe, but actually where this flex point of the foot happens matches the flex point of the shoe. So, love these Under Armors. They encourage regular muscular development. They protect the foot. And uh, Amadeus has got a great brand new pair of shoes.